last time on Valkyria Chronicles. I will thank you to watch your tongue in this house. You have to leave now. Someday, we'll come back home again. Yes. Someday soon. I know it. Alright, hello everybody, I am Godric Falcar, and welcome back to Valkyria Chronicles. Between the last episode and this episode, I got a pop filter. Yes, I did. Because the previous episode, I realized that I needed it. So, let's go on into Chapter 3. Vasal Urban Warfare. Summons. Let's get right into it, shall we? In March of 1935, the Empire began its invasion across Gallia's eastern border. Maximilian, commander of the Gallian invasion front, built his army around mobile armor. Girlendio and the other fortresses along the border fell to his tanks in quick succession. Bruel's fall in under two hours was typical of villages in the Empire's path, and the road to the capital bore a steady flow of refugees. Randgris, Gallia's capital, a town secure and stable since ancient times. Within its walls stood the castle Randgris, and within its unicorn spire resided Cordelia, Gallia's princess. Supporting Gallia's policy of neutrality was a system of universal conscription. Under it, all schools required military training each year. In the event of a war, citizens were then drafted into the militia to defend their country. As the conflict with the East grew worse, both Welkin and Alicia found themselves no exceptions to that fate. So these are my new digs. Oh, my uniform. I should get changed before reporting in. Better get ready now. Flares, binoculars, a compass, and a map. Everything you need for a nice hike, or combat. Welkin? Can I come in? Sure, it's open. Oh, you're already changed too. Let's see. Not bad, not bad. You look good, actually. So, how about me? Do I look alright in this? Convincing? Let's take a look. Yeah, you look fine. You wear it like a pro. Really? You're not just saying that? Of course not. You look tough. I like it. Oh, good. I was worried it looked kind of silly. No way. That plating on the back? It's like a coleopterid exoskeleton. Beetle-tastic! Coleo what? And did you just say Beetle? Uh, Welkin? What kind of girl wants to hear that she looks like a bug? Huh? Not just any bug. A rhinoceros beetle. King of the insects. Who wouldn't want that? Uh-huh. 
I guess I'll just try to take that as a very welkin sort of compliment. Tell me about that scarf. You've been wearing it since I met you. Oh, this? It's part of my uniform from the bakery. Is that right? I don't want to forget the time I spent busting my buns baking. I plan to keep wearing it until I can get back to manning the ovens again. That's great. Once you do, I'll be first in line to get some of that bread. Is that a promise? Well, I'll be sure to have plenty of it ready and waiting for you. Absolutely. Hey, if you're ready, we should probably go see the captain now. Oh, Welkin, he's just so smooth. And, uh, I felt like that last section was an innuendo about something. Considering she said she was busting her buns and he was like, Oh, don't worry, I want a piece of that bread once you're baking it. Anyway, that could have just been my, my mind coming up with that, but... I'm sure some of you out there felt the same way. Alright, let's just continue with the story. Um, so it looks like we've joined a larger force, an actual city, um, been, uh, put into a new military order. I'm sure I'm going to be leading a nice squadron. And from the name of this section, Squad 7 is born, I would say that's, uh, probably a good assumption. So let's keep going. I'm enjoying this so far. Looking forward to see how one their relationship forms, because it obviously will. And how the war continues. So let's keep going. Yes. Come in. Excuse me, ma'am. Galleon Militia Enlistee Welkin Gunther. Reporting for duty. Ma'am. Galleon Militia Enlistee Alicia Melchiot. Also reporting for duty. I'm Captain Eleanor Varat, commander of this regiment. Gunther, you're promoted to lieutenant. You'll be leader of Squad 7 now. Ma'am. Enlistee Melkiot, you're promoted to sergeant. You'll be under the lieutenant's command. Understood? Ma'am. What do you know? It is you. Nice coincidence, huh, Welkin? Valdio? I had no idea that you'd enlisted. Yep. Now that there's a real war going on, I joined up. Pretty much all the officer and training boys are here just like you. You know each other? Yes, ma'am. We knew each other at university. Welcome was in science and I was in archaeology. And just look at us now. No archaeology or science. Looks like the two of us are studying more, I guess. Looks that way. It's good to see you. And you. That'll be all for now. There's a strategy briefing later today, but you still have time. Time for you to catch up. You'll be spending a lot of time on the post and in Randbreeze. They'll be your new home, so get to know them. That'll be all. Report back in time for the briefing. Until then, you're dismissed. All right, so let's see what we have here. Change equipment or view info on members of the squad. Choose members of Squad 7 who will fight in combat. The training field to improve combat abilities. Upgrade Squad 7's equipment by developing new weaponry and book modes. So that's to return to the book. Let's check out our squad. What do, what do we have? Welkin, of course. Not too bad. Alicia. Rosie, that's a new one. Brigitte Stark. And Largo Potter. Interesting. Alright. Yep, I think we're good for now. I'm sure we'll start recruiting a lot of new people as we go along in the game. Let's choose who we'll fight. I think we only have four people. So I think we can only have four people. It's good to see you doing the rounds. Welcome. She has that, um... Sexy librarian look going on. Captain Verrett. Uh, 
reminds me of Parrot. She kind of reminds me of a Parrot. This is the command room. Use it to structure your squad. All right, we'll do. We'll have access to both drafted and volunteer recruits. Ah, so that's where the new recruits come from. Now that I think of it, Squad 7 is still short on soldiers, isn't it? I'll explain how this works. All right, sounds good. This is the master list. The recruits have all been assigned classes based on their talents. Gotcha. I should probably touch on the five classes, just so we're clear. I'm thinking I'm going to go pretty heavily sniper. Uh, I love snipers in these games. Accuracy to uh, headshots seems very effective in this game. Of course, you need some um, heavy-duty guys, maybe rocket launchers to get rid of some tanks on foot, and that kind of thing. But I, I've i never played this game before, so I'll let her explain. You have the scouts. Just like the name suggests, they'll be your eyes. All right, so I'll probably go heavily in there. Their best asset is their mobility. They can go out, collect intel, then make it back safely. Okay, so you can have a variety of things. I guess they're the quicker moving uh, troop. And so if you need to actually go collect things, pick up people, save people, that's kind of their forte. Yeah, and a keen eye for enemies. A good scout can spot a man in tall grass from 100 yards. Ooh, that's good. That comes at the price of firepower. Their job is spotting enemies not taking them out. Gotcha. Next up, the shock trooper. They're the ones to break through enemy lines and clean up. They offer excellent offense and defense. As far as combat goes, they're as good as it gets. Excellent. So we'll need a couple of those. While they lack any specialized techniques, they also don't have any obvious shortcomings. That's good. So they're a very average soldier, but... Um, they have a lot of firepower, so that's good. Think of them as the least finicky unit in your squad, Lieutenant. Alright, so the most useful, most average, that's the troop you normally have the most of. After them, we have Lancers, then anti-tank units. They're critical when facing armored targets. Awesome, so we'll definitely need a couple of those. Their purpose is pretty self-explanatory. In most cases, they're the only way to stop a tank. Gotcha. They're also well shielded from explosives, which conveniently includes tank mortars. Ooh, that's some heavy armor on that guy. Sadly, they're slow and weak to gunfire. Their limited ammo could also be called a drawback. Mm, I would say so. Changing gears, we have the engineers. They handle supplies and perform combat support. Ooh. They can restock other units' ammunitions, treat the wounded, even repair tanks on site. Oh yeah, we definitely need one of those. <laughs> That's one of the most important people to have. They can place sandbags for cover, disarm mines, repair towers, you name it. Oh man, and it looks like uh, they have kind of a grenade launcher. Um, so what they did in old guns like that was you had a little grenade that you put in the front of your gun, and when you shot it, it kind of shot out uh, like a grenade launcher of today. So, that could be useful, too. Their actual combat skills are very low. Think of them as combat facilitators. So they're the uh, support character, basically, in any kind of RPG game. Um, and then the tanks are the Lancers. We have the mobility people and the DPS, which would be the shock troopers. Lastly, we have the snipers. They can shoot down targets from a considerable distance. You always need one good sniper. Um, most likely in this game you're going to want to put him at the top of a tower, and he could just take people out as your other troops kind of spread out and uh, make a nice defensive position against anything that's coming. You won't find better soldiers for marksmanship and range. They can hit targets I can barely see. Well, no offense, but you need glasses, so maybe you can't see very well. Then again, I wear glasses too, so I'm kind of bashing myself here, but yeah, I gotcha. Sniping rifles also come with scopes that work to augment a sniper's natural eyesight. Never heard anybody call it a sniping rifle, but that makes sense, I guess. Drawbacks include low mobility and defense. If the enemy gets them alone, they're done for. <laughs> They're not very good in awkward situations. When the enemy gets them alone and tries to make out with them, they will get very concerned, and they will most likely urinate themselves. So don't get them alone, basically. That should cover the basics. Gotcha. 
Go ahead and put a squad together now. There's room for 20, and you can swap units at any time. There's room for 20? I, I only see eight chairs at that table and one chair for me over there in the corner. The big leather chair is mine. I'm calling it now. Oh, cool. So they have weird little uh, specialty skills. Oh, Ted looks so happy. Oh, man, there's a lot of them. Night Vision, Scout Killer, Neat Freak. Gotcha. That sounds useful. Pollen Allergy doesn't sound good. That must be when you get in the grass. That, uh... Chatty Cathy, Child of Nature, Fancies Men, Susie is a Trooper Hater, Good Buddy and a Country Bread, Meadow Bread, Bug in a Rug, Neat Freak, Camp Defender, Darson Bond. He's a metal allergy? That sounds bad. Desert allergy. Huh. Desert bread. Darkson hater. That must be a person, I guess. Oh, these are all snipers. Imp hater, night vision, meadow bread. Herbert likes... Oh, okay, so these are all different classes. Gotcha. So these are the scouts. Let's go with her. I like her. Hi, I'm Alex Raymond. I look Him. forward to serving with you, Welkin. Oh. Alright, cool. So there's another person added. Um... Alright, I'm probably just going to go through here real quick and add some people. I uh, might skip this part. So, I will see you all in a second. Hey, I'm Oscar Baylor. Thanks for taking me on board. Hi there. I'm Niels. Niels Dare. The name's Jane Turner. Uh, please. I'm... I'm Nancy Def... Name's Cope. I'm Edie Nelson. Thank you. My... I'm Wendy Cheslock. <laughs> Kaboom. The next... Hey, soldier. I'm Jan Walker. I'll fight with everything I've got. Well, feel like you've struck a balance? Come back anytime you'd like to adjust your squad. All right, sounds good. As time passes, we'll have more recruits to choose from, so keep an eye on that list. Now, there was quite a few of them that I was very interested in, and uh, a lot <laughs> that I really wasn't, but you had to pick 20 at this point. We'll come back and get some much better ones uh, later on. Oh, and all the recruits go through training together, so they're all ready for combat. Oh, cool. So that must mean that uh, all the troops basically maintain the same level, so you can use them all at any time. They'll be at the same level as the rest of the team you've taken into the field. Yep, exactly what I just said. You can swap out members without the worry of losing the benefit of their experience. That's good. Trust in your own judgment and pick a team you know you can work well with. Yeah, they all had uh, different traits. Some of them didn't like a uh, certain race of people. Some of them had allergies. Uh, some of them didn't like closed spaces. Some of them were attracted to men, attracted to women, blah, blah, blah. So you get bonuses and debuffs. And you have to find a nice team that works better with uh, whatever environment you're going to be fighting into. That should be enough to get you started. You can figure out the rest as you go. Sounds like a plan. Man, her hand is thin. It's tiny. Wow. Squad leader's a lot of responsibility. Yes, it is. Come to think of it, Baldio's heading up squad one, isn't he? I don't know. Maybe. I wonder if he's off sorting through this stuff now, too. I better get a move on. Yep, let's get to going. Get to going. So, train units to improve combat ability. Upgrade equipment by developing new weaponry. Let's look at that real quick. I may just do some training on my own uh, to get the hang of it. Welcome to R&D, man. What can I do you for? 
Wait, I know that insignia. You're Lieutenant Gunther, aren't you? Yes, I am. I knew it. Man, I've heard about you. That evacuation at Brule was just... Wow! Protecting a tiny life in the middle of all that slaughter? Man, man! Oh, Lieutenant, you're good people. You get all my respect and then some, bro. Thanks, buddy. What's going on, Leon? I could hear you from clear across the hangar. Oh, Casey, check it out. It's Lieutenant Gunther. He's the man, man. <laughs> Sorry about him, Lieutenant. He's like this all the time, I'm afraid. But where are my manners? I'm Chris Cherney. I'm training here as a mechanic. Neat. Neat, neat, neat. Oh, oh, and I'm Leon Schmidt. But just call me Leon, bro. I'm your boy. <laughs> so, Lieutenant Gunther, what brings you down to R&D today? We do work here on weapons development, making upgraded weapons and equipment. Awesome. And that includes rifles and machine guns. We can even soup up your tank. Ooh, that would be good. Let's of do that. Of course. Research expenses aren't cheap. Well, I've got 4,530 G's, my friend. With rifles and other firearms, we'll mass produce new models as they're developed. Sounds good. You won't have to worry about making enough for your squad. We'll outfit them. Oh, okay. So, once you get the upgrades, I guess they just automatically go into uh, whatever troop you use, which is really, con re re yeah, really, really convenient. Uh, so you don't have to specifically equip each person. For tanks, you can upgrade the baseline performance of the body itself, or develop optional parts that you can add on to tweak out its specs. Sounds neat. Right. You can choose which optional parts you want in the tank equipment section. All right. Come in any time and make adjustments based on the needs of the operation at hand. Sounds good. About outfitting tanks. Development work on tanks happens in the form of body enhancements, tread and weak point improvements, and attack support. Body enhancements mostly re reinforce the gun barrel and body armor to improve its base stats. Tanks will automatically be given the best body type you have developed. Oh yeah. You decide whether to favor attack or defense, and altering body types gives your attack a different outward appearance. Improvements to the treads and weak point and attack support take the form of parts that can be added to the tank to enhance their ability. Each part has a set size in blocks. You decide how to fill the 4x3 block storage capacity in the idle vice. Pick the optional parts that are best fit your own personal combat style. Personally, I feel like a uh, good offense is a good defense. Let's outfit the tank real quick. What do we got? Do have any new parts? I don't have any new parts. Okay. I would guess I can't really buy anything yet. Oh, nope. I lied. I can. Alright, so these are the rifles. Um, I'm going to upgrade the sniper rifle right away. Yes. Do that. Here you go, bro. I'll Thanks, buddy. And, uh, it doesn't look like we can upgrade anything else there yet. Uniforms! Oh yeah, it increases everybody's defense by one. Very convenient. Let's go ahead and do that. Armor upgrade? Oh, that's specific people. Edelweiss. What do we got? Alright. Potty enhancements. Reinforced barrel. Uh, reinforced armor. Looks like it for now. Let's go ahead and reinforce the barrel. Because if that breaks, we're in deep doo-doo, my friends. Uh, frontal armor, that's okay. Treads are important. Radiator upgrade, hardened plate. The radiator is the most sensitive part, so we'll go ahead and upgrade that real quick. What is attack support stuff? Sight upgrade, bulletproof visor. That sounds really important, so I don't get shot in the face. All set for you, bro. It's done. Awesome. Um, yes, let's go ahead and equip that. There. Why not? Hardened plate. We'll put over in this corner. I don't know how that's going to look. I'll have to see how it looks once we're done. Um, blast suits. Sure. 
Let's get some blast suits. So that's additional armor, I guess, for the troops. Oh, and that used up almost exactly all of my monies. So that's perfect. Well, sir, was that helpful? Yep, pretty helpful. We're working here around the clock to make possible tomorrow what's out of reach today. It's very commendable. Thank you. We'll do our best to have something useful for you by then. Thank you, sir. Their hands are all kind of very skinny. I guess, okay, they're pretty accurate, but... Yeah, you better come back soon, bro. I am all fired up to work on stuff for you. Such a good guy. Ah, <sighs> being an engineer myself, I can understand. All right, so I may play with the training field a little bit by myself, but let's go ahead back to book mode. Maybe we can figure out this uh, chapter. Let's take a full tour of headquarters. Oh, so we have to go to the training field. Gotcha. Nightmare. I'm the guy who's gonna whip you lazy blobs into shape. Lazy blob. I never. Still, I can't work miracles here. No amount of drilling beats real combat experience. That's a good point. I do like your eye patch, by the way. I want you all to go out there, kick some imp tail, and then show me what you learned. Gotcha. I will train that experience into something you can actually use. Level you bums up. <laughs> okay. But oh god. Don't go trying to hog all the glory. A squad's a team and we got no need for stars. Gotcha. You will train as a class and level up by class. Scout level 2, scout level 3. You get it? I got it. Let's level up, sir. When the scouts level up, that means each and every one of them goes up that level. Sounds like a plan. You hear me, Maggie? I hear you, sir. Any of you think he's better than the rest of the team? Go home now. We work as a tip. All right. Now I'll show you low lives how this whole thing actually works. This negative reinforcement is really helping me, sir. It ain't complicated. First, you go out there and fight. Then divvy up that experience here. Gotcha. Once the experience you cram into a soldier class clears a set amount, it'll level up. I will cram soldiers, sir. Wait. That. <laughs> Oh god. Picking which class to level up and when is your job as the squad leader. Now give it a go. I will cram them, sir. I am the squad leader. Train all you want. I've got all day. There's a lot of L's in that all, sir. Alright, so I really like the sniper. Whew. Oh, am I one off? No. Yes. Yeah, boink. Oh, okay. I should probably should have used up more than Good I did. Work, maggots. You're one level Closer to human. Looks like that beat a new potential out of the sniper. Yeah, I did. All right, let's beat a new potential out of the. Okay, so beating the new potential out of someone sounds both brutal and dirty at the same time. Yeah, let's get everybody up, up, up to level two. Bam. Boring. <laughs> All them level do. Good work, maggots. You're one level closer to human. Thanks. Looks like that session beat a new potential. Into the lancers and everyone else. All right, what do we got? 870. So we can get the scouts up one level, engineers up another level. Or partially into another one. I feel like I need to use up all the experience points I can, so let's go ahead and level up the scouts. Yeah, push those limits. Push it. Push it real good. Alright, and that's all the experience points. Got it? That's how training by class works. Now get out there and rack up some experience. Sir, yes, sir. Oh, and there's one more thing to add. Yes, sir. Sometimes leveling up a unit class will unlock a hidden potential in them. Ooh, that sounds neat. You can think of potentials as the natural abilities your soldiers have inside them. Gotcha. Those abilities will form a big part of your strength in the field. So keep them in mind. Yeah, the potential was the uh, specific abilities I was talking about earlier. Like, some of them have an attraction to men. Um, and so if you have men around them in the field, they get like a bonus to uh, either damage, accuracy, defense, that kind of thing. 
Other times, leveling up a class will earn you clearance for a new order. Ooh. Here, as long as we're talking about it, I'll teach you a classic. A real golden oldie. What's that, sir? You learned evade boost. This order raises one ally's evasion skills. Ooh. Orders are special commands you can give out as the squad leader. They can save your tail. Sounds like it. It doesn't take a genius to see that leveling up your soldiers is the best way to beef up your squad. Gotcha. The soldiers will get stronger, and you just might unlock new potentials and orders. Alrighty. All that Ooh. just from me working you sorry bombs into the dirt. Sir, yes, sir. I just hope you maggots are ready for a real workout the next time I see you. Here. You're very close to my face, sir. All right, and we have now explored everything. So let's go back to book mood. Yes. The headquarters tab is now available. About headquarters. On the Galleon Militia base, you can use the experience points and funds you've acquired in battle to train your troops to higher levels or develop new weaponry. Stopping by before combat or after an op, once you've acquired more resources, is a good idea. Open the menu with Y button, pick headquarters from the tab, select menu to visit the base's facilities. As you progress through the game, new destinations around the base will become available to you as well. Alright, and it looks like we have exactly one more section left in Chapter 3. Let's go ahead and finish that section. Welks. There you are. I've been looking for you. Hey, Ys. How'd your enlistment go? No problems? I registered as a tank pilot and mechanic. Maintaining and operating the Edelweiss will be my responsibility from now on. I think it's nice that we'll all be on the same squad together. I think so too. So what are you up to now? The tank's hangar space is just through here. I was just carrying some Ragnite fuel back. It's used to power the tank, and also for the turret-mounted cannon rounds. I guess I'm just more used to seeing it in street lamps and medical compounds. Seems like everything is Ragnite powered these days. That stuff is everywhere. Not enough of it for some people though. It's the source of a lot of conflict. They say the Empire's invading only to get at all the Ragnite in Gallian soil. Oh, that's right. I had something to give you, Welks. What's this? Father's flare gun. It was in the barn, but I thought you might have some use for it. Another hand-me-down. I gave it a once-over. It might be old, but it's still serviceable. I didn't mean... I just can't believe I'm a tank operator now. Thank you for this, Ys. I'll do a spot check on the Edelweiss now, to make sure it's ready to go at any time. Alright, we'll get going for now then. See you later. Alright, everybody. So, let's see. Oh, man, I don't think we're done with Chapter 3 yet. But we're pretty far into this episode, so I think that is where I'm going to have to end it for now. So, thank you all for joining me, and don't forget to leave a comment down below, as well as a like on this video, share with your friends, and subscribe today for more. I'm greatly enjoying this game, and I will... Uh, Later on, I think there's a lot of mercenary sections where I can do a lot of uh, experiencing my people and uh, getting a lot of resources. So I'll probably do that in my spare time, but we're not quite there yet. But thank you all for watching, and naturally I will see all of you in the next video. But bye-bye for now. Bye. 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 Bye, bye, bye. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. See you next time.
machine. <laughs> 